As an innovation, the new depuration technology developed helped to increase the consumer safety in live oyster consumption. Because of low salinity during monsoon, mussel has to be harvested before the rainy season and was successfully undertaken in the SSGs and breakthrough harvest results was noticed due to the high market demand of the product up to 5 rupees per piece of mussel and more than 200 rupees per kilogram of meat. The harvest results and cost and yield dynamics estimated in the SSGs brought out a BC ratio of 3.5 is to 1 on an average. The male counterparts of the SHG members also took a lead role in harvest operations and labor-intensive activities in various phases of bivalve culture trials. The bumper harvest results of muscle culture by the women mobilized SHGs had great expectations of SHG enterprise of muscle farming as a major means of poverty alleviation as each SHG in turn ensures economic sustainability of five families which in turn motivate other enterprises of Kunubushri so that women get fascinated towards these enterprises. Similarly, in edible oyster farming, the live oyster value chain has developed in the city of Kuchi on a small scale and has great scope to expand to other metro cities in the country. The live oysters produced and supplied by women SHGs are sold to star hotels like the Taj, CGH Earth in the major cities like Kuchi, Mumbai, Delhi and Bengaluru. The value of live oysters increased from 1 rupee to 12 rupees and that of depurated steam shucked oyster meat increased from rupees 65 to rupees 400. Formal functions for distribution of sales proceeds as well as different awards were organized by CMFRI. Exhibitions like Shellcon 2014 helped to increase awareness among the general public about the health benefits of bywolves. Ultimately, through gender mainstreaming and socio-economic empowerment of the mobilized women SHGs in bywolf farming, the local economic development of Varlikun and of Varikara Gram Panchayats gets improved, which in turn leads to radical development of fissures of Kerala state in a broader sense. Because poverty can only be eradicated by mobilizing the poor to solve their actual problems in the form of organized self-help groups. Here, in the very many poverty eradication measures of the state government, a history is being generated in the paradigm of economic empowerment of women, wherein CMFRI also proudly joins hands for economic development of the state with extreme happiness, commitment and uprightness. Let's all wish good luck to these empowered women SHGs.